everyone, this is Jeremy, and you are watching JME 3D Reviews here on YouTube. Today we're going over my somewhat simple but very complex toolkit for 3D printing. I personally have two different 3D printers. I have the Monoprice Maker Select version 2 and the Monoprice Mini Delta. The toolkit that I've got here has taken a little bit of time to accumulate but it has gotten me out of a lot of different issues uh, including stuck nozzles or um, jam nozzles, stuck filament, etc. The first thing I'm going to show you is the replacement fittings here. These are the typical ones that go on the Monoprice Mini Delta. Gives me replacement ones if I ever did bust one or if I wanted to make a filament dry box. The next item is going to be replacement Kapton tape. Um, this is the fiberglass backed ceramic tape. This helps keep the hot end warm. The next piece would be replacement PCU fans. These are the same ones that go on the uh, extruder and the part cooling fan. And I believe they're the same ones that go on the Mini Delta for the same, for the same areas. The next is going to be the appropriate wrenches for removing nozzles. I've done it multiple times using a pair of pliers and my grips here. And it is not fun, it's not the most simple thing to do to grab on when you feel like you're scraping up the outside of the brass nozzle. Next, and this came with the Maker Select, is a scraper spatula. As you can see, it's got a lot of flex to it. Um, it does have the tapered edge on the edge here and allows you to get in underneath the prints and remove them from the build plate. Next, this is a pipe reaming tool. This is actually used in tobacco pipes, but this piece right here, which is typically used for making a hole in the tobacco, is fantastic for cleaning out the PTFE tube that is common in the extruders. Next is a pair of pliers. This is great for getting up and close, removing support, or uh, trimming the filament. Again, obviously we have the same grips here. This is great for taking items apart, working on them, or just getting a hold of something you can't quite get a hold of. Next is a couple spare micro SD cards. I use these in the micro and the excuse me in the model price maker select as well as in the mini delta in the mini select i do have this which i wasn't originally going to include in my toolkit review but i leave this permanently permanently plugged in to the control box on the maker select so that i can continue to print and still take out the card without losing the card i've got couple extra bags of piece parts, screws, uh, etc. They go to both of these printers. Allows me to do a repair on the fly if need be. I've got one meter or three feet of spare PTFE tubing. This is just standard Teflon, two by four millimeters. I've searched all over online, watched a lot of videos, and nobody actually explains. All it is is two millimeter by four millimeter PTFE tubing. This is more than I'll ever need, especially considering that I'll be installing the Micro Swiss hot end. Next is going to be, this is an oven safe glove. This is the ones you see on TV commercials all over the place where they're putting their hands in wood stoves or into the oven. This is great for removing nozzles when the nozzle is still hot. So if you're removing a jam, anything like that, it's great for being able to take things apart. The other handy item, if you can see this, I'd rather not take these out of the packaging. Those are little tiny acupuncture type drill bits that allows you to clean out a jammed or stuck dirty nozzle. This set right here is a set of small little pliers, which is great for removing uh, pesky supports, trying to remove filament that might be jammed up inside the extruder, anything like that. 
That being said, those items I may be doing a giveaway here shortly. 